and welcome back. The objective of this tutorial is to show you how you can actually create your servlets in Eclipse IDE. So uh, the first program that we are going to be dealing with is called Write a Servlet to demonstrate the generic servlet class. So to create a servlet we can either extend the generic servlet class or we can extend the HTTP servlet class. There are two classes of servlets that can be extended to create a servlet but for the sake of this tutorial we will use the generic servlet class ok so what we are going to do here is we are going to create a form in HTML and we are going to provide a username and password see we are having an HTML file that is the source code for an HTML file there are two fields the username field and the password field and this is just a text field and this is just a password field we are going to send the username and password to our servlet and the servlet is going to accept them and just print them for us that is what we are going to be doing in this tutorial so let me show you how you can actually do that so first you go need to go to file then go to new and select dynamic web project and from here we are going to provide a name to our project so let's name it web4 or you can give any other name uh, now click on next next and finish ok so from web4 ok uh, from web4 we have to go to java resources and there you select the src and there from the new uh, menu we have to select servlet so let's create a package first I'm going to be naming it com dot pack one dot serve one and the ca class name will be servlet example okay now click next and then click on finish okay so Eclipse has already generated a lot of code for us by default so we don't need this code we are going to get rid of this code and we are going to use our own code so I'm just deleting them from the source file and now from this uh, text file I'll copy and paste the code for our program over here okay so this is our code let us just save it right now and the next thing that we need to do is go to the web content directory and click on new then click on file so I'll create a file that is an HTML file and I'll name it my form dot HTML okay so once we do that we'll have to click finish so a lot of uh, here we have a blank file we have nothing inside it right now so let's just copy and paste this code over here so this is just a plain and simple HTML file we create a form over here and there are some text there is a text field and a password field like I told you earlier and we will have to save the save our file right now okay so we have created the servlet example file and we have also created the form that we are going to use in our project so to run this project we will have to run it as a uh, run it on our tomcat server but here we can see that server is already running so if the server is already running it may conflict with our program so let's stop it first we are going to run it from the beginning once again sometimes if the server is already running it may cause various unexpected errors in your program so if you see that the server is uh, st it has started you will just have to stop it before you can run your program so here from myform.html you just need to right click on it and select run as run on server ok so click on next and then click on finish now let's see what happens tomcat is being started right now if it runs successfully we will just see a html file with the username and password fields let's hope we don't run into any kind of unexpected, unexpected glitches or errors 
will take a while so please be patient uh, yeah we have the login ID field and the password field so once we enter the login ID and password field it will be transferred to our servlet and the servlet will go will take that and it will just print it see here is the code to print the login ID and here is the code to print the password so before we do anything let's just review what's there in the servlet file so this class servlet example extends the generic servlet class okay and the generic servlet class can uh, accept any kind of request from any incoming web browser or any kind of uh, HTML file and it can provide the necessary action. So in our case it will just take the values from the login ID field and the password field and it will just print them for us. And print uh, in the next line you, you can see there is a print writer out statement. Here we are just creating an object called out for the print writer class and we will use this object to generate our HTML code. Okay. To uh, generate our response and send it back to the HTML file and uh, we are using the get parameters uh, command to accept the values from the login ID field and we are also using the get parameter method to accept the value from the password field S you can see here that the name of the uh, login ID field is login ID and the name of the password field is password so here in our program we have used uh, for the login field we have used the name login ID and for the password field we have used the name password okay so let's just run our program and see what happens so the login ID let me give a user ID as uh, ABC and for the password I am entering 1 2 3 and 4 and now we click on submit so it says you have successfully log logged in and your login ID is ABC and your password is 1 2 3 4 so it means our program has run successfully and there is nothing more we need to do so this is what this program is all about is it's fairly straightforward I hope you have understood what I'm trying to explain here in case you have any further doubts you can just leave your uh, queries in the comment section or you can also get in touch with me and I'll try to resolve whatever problems that you might be having with this program okay okay so just uh, have a nice day and happy coding to all of you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.